LS2 has finally arrived and players can step into the shoes of Blake Langerman and experience the horrors of the Arizona desert in a brand new way. After their chopper crashes near a village of cultists, Blake and Lynn Langerman must try to escape the nightmare with their lives. Here are some tips to keep you alive as long as you can. Limit the use of your night vision and sound tracking. Both of these items use an extreme amount of your battery power, and using them all the time will run your battery supply down quickly. When in doubt, hide. There are plenty of hiding places to make use of in Outlast 2, so make sure you use every single one of them to your advantage and stick to the shadows. Play with your camera up all the time. This will make it harder for you to miss recording areas. Just beware. You do move a little slower with the camera up, and it does block a little of your vision. Batteries are scattered throughout the game world in Outlast 2 and players will have to keep their eyes open if they want to spot them and add them to their collection. These items are extremely important as they allow you to power your camcorder's night vision and sound tracking. The easiest way to find batteries is to look for glowing white items on the ground or tables. Many times we found batteries on tables inside of houses, barns, and even under old broken down sheds that are missing some of their walls. This means you'll need to explore. And even if you manage to find a few batteries along the way, you should be sure to make careful use of your camcorder so you don't run your batteries down. In order to make batteries last longer, you should prioritize use of your camcorder's night vision and sound tracking only when absolutely needed. If you can see well enough when traveling through areas, make sure you aren't wasting batteries by having night vision turned on. Likewise, make sure you don't run around the entire game with your sound tracking on. This runs the battery down much quicker than night vision does, which can leave you halfway through the game with no batteries to power your camcorder. Thankfully, there are several light sources like fires and torches set up around the game world, as the villagers themselves need to see. Some of these villagers will even carry flashlights, and sometimes you can make use of their light beams to see inside houses and other darker areas. It should also be noted that enemies cannot see the light from your night vision, so you're free to use that at any juncture of the game. Just remember to keep track of how many batteries you have and how much juice the current battery has. And always be on the lookout for glowing telltale signs of more batteries. Healing in Outlast 2 is extremely simple. You don't have a health bar, so to speak. So for the most part, you can completely ignore the health system until you're given a warning about it. Most times, one hit from an enemy weapon will wear your health down enough to need healing. But sometimes, if you're lucky, you won't have to heal unless you're bleeding due to the hit. You can pick up the bleeding trait from enemies with sharp weapons like machetes and knives. Normally, these enemies are the most dangerous, so watch out for them. You'll receive warnings on the screen when you need to heal. Finding bandages in Outlast 2 is about as easy as learning how to find batteries. There's no tried and true method, and your camera doesn't have any sort of battery or bandage detector. Instead, you'll have to look for glowing items. Usually though, bandages are found in open first aid boxes, which make them a bit easier to spot. As you progress through the game, finding bandages will get harder. Don't sweat it too much though, as you shouldn't need these items that much, if you're careful. One way to limit the number of bandages you're using is to simply let yourself die when you're seriously injured. This does force you to replay a bit of the game, but it will save you in the long run as you won't have to waste your bandages on a silly mistake. And that's it for the video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Check our description for more Outlast 2 content. Check back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.